Hi, Peter King with Sports Illustrated here on the campus of Anderson University, Anderson, Indiana, of the summer home of the Indianapolis Colts. Now you'll see behind me, the Colts uh, employees are breaking down training camp because the Colts, this is as I speak on a Wednesday, will break camp after Thursday's practice, then go back to Indianapolis to play the Washington Redskins this weekend, then start working out at their home facility. And the reason that it's been an interesting camp here is because of who hasn't been here, and that's Peyton Manning. Has not practiced yet after the off-season surgery uh, on a disc in his neck. Uh, still doing rehab, was not made available to me and has not spoken throughout the summer. So we don't know for sure how that's going. But I asked Jeff Saturday, the center of the Colts, uh, this afternoon, I said, hey, are you going to see Peyton Manning on opening day September 11th? And he said, he'll be there. Now, the others with the Colts are cautious. You know, General Manager Chris Polian said, I don't know. And they're trying basically to give Manning and the trainers uh, his space just to make sure that he will be able to prepare uh, and uh, will try to get ready if he can. Now, two things about this Colts team uh, that, that obviously are going to be vitally important down the stretch in the preseason. One, is Curtis Painter good enough to run this team in Manning's absence, whether or not he misses a game or two at the start of the season. At some point, if they have to rely on him, will Curtis Painter, the kid from Purdue, be ready to play? And I think that is what's most important about the next two weeks in the preseason. All the other position battles doesn't really, they don't really matter all that much. If Manning is not gonna be there, they need somebody to hold the fort until he gets there. Number two, the left tackle, today at practice, Anthony Costanzo, the first round pick from Boston College, was put in, and I think permanently, at least for this year, at left tackle with the first unit. That's very important because obviously that's Manning's blind side or until he gets back, it's, it's the, whoever plays quarterback here, it's their blind side. And uh, I, I think what's really important to watch right now, if you're a Colts follower the rest of this preseason, watch the first unit on the left side. Costanzo will be tested, but he's a veteran guy who started four years of college football at a high level at Boston College. I think he's as equipped as any tackle in the rookie class this year to step in and play right away. And that's it for now from Indianapolis Training Camp. I'm Peter King with Sports Illustrated.